Hi, how are you? Mantadar Naji exemplifies the Canadian dream. Originally from Iraq, he came to Canada as a refugee 10 years ago. Now he owns and operates three businesses. We have everything we need here. We have the, the electricity, it's a safe country, it's, uh, you know, the people, the, that's all opportunities, I think. Naji sponsored his wife and they now have two Canadian-born children. The poll shows that newcomers are generally more optimistic about the future than the rest of the country. They're also more likely to trust the government to do the right thing, and they have a high regard for Justin Trudeau. We love him. <laughs> we love him. We support him. He helped a lot of refugees. Yeah. He brought a lot of refugees. Topping the list of issues new Canadians say are important to them, finding jobs and having previous credentials recognized. The main issue for me now to go back to my profession as a dentist as soon as possible. Isa Al Hariri is not quite so optimistic. He came to Canada in 2016 and has been studying to meet requirements, but it's a long process. He doesn't have a job. Actually, I used to be very successful in my uh, practice as a dentist. I used to work to, for the Ministry of Health in Syria, help others. Now I feel I am in need, I am under this help. So uh, for me, as uh, I, uh, embarrassing actually. I, Lee Cohen has been practicing immigration law for more than 30 years. He says new Canadians should be watching this election campaign for promises and ideas related to the immigration system. Trudeau brought some light. The light needs to be brighter. And uh, it's a question mark in my mind um, who can shine that light. Cheeseburger combo. No Mantadar Naji is second. preparing to vote for the first time now that he's a Canadian citizen. According to the poll, new Canadians say they don't know enough yeah, no. about Andrew Scheer and Jagmeet Singh, and they think the Green Party is too radical. Naji says he also needs more information, but will be watching closely, proud to have the opportunity to have his voice heard. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.